And if you add negative one and positive one, you get zero? Correct. I think I understand. Good. One question. How can you have zero if zero is nothing? Well, it's not something that you have. Zero represents a state of nothingness. What does that mean? It's nothingness, the absence of somethingness. Trust me, zero is a thing. But you just said it's a nothing. I did. Which is it? A something or a nothing? We have a problem. What? Zero might not exist. <coughs> of course, zero exists. Great, then explain it to me. Easy. Zero is nothing. But how can nothing be a thing? Think of it this way. Picture an empty box. All right. What's in the box? Nothing. It's not nothing. Air, atoms, molecules, that empty box is as full as full can be. Regardless, zero is very important. I'm not saying it isn't important. I'm just saying the little round guy ain't real. You're being silly. Zero is a number like every other number. Oh, yeah? Can you divide with it? Well... No. In fact, the Greek philosopher Parmenides said nothing cannot exist because to speak of something is to speak of something that exists. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. Dr. Sturgis, zero isn't real. I feel dizzy. What's wrong? Zero. Zero is wrong? Zero doesn't exist. I don't understand. Neither do we. Dr. Linkletter, there's no such thing as zero. That's preposterous. Of course there is. Prove it, tough guy. Yeah. Uh-oh. <coughs> May I have that? Over here. I'm afraid I have some bad news. If you mean I'm gonna be left back, it's okay, you tried. No, well, maybe. I have bad news about Zero. It doesn't exist. So I was right? No one is more shocked than I am. I can't help you with your test. Without Zero, I don't even know what math is anymore. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. What if we just pretend it exists? Are you saying to accept Zero as an act of faith? Was I? I think so. Okay. My mom accepts God as an act of faith, and zero is way more useful than God. Do not say that around, Pastor Jeff. Think about it. Without zero, we wouldn't have calculus. Without God, we wouldn't have Spanish Inquisition. I know the Spanish word for fajita. And don't forget, before the Big Bang, there was actually nothing. It's fajita. So you could say the entire universe was born out of zero, meaning that zero created the universe, not God. Maybe we should pray to it. I think we should. Zero. It's me, Sheldon. I know I doubted you, but in my defense, you're literally nothing. I would like to thank you for all the gifts you've given us. The null set, Fibonacci sequence, binary language. I could go on ad infinitum, but not without you. Ask Zero to help me pass my test. Zero's not magic. You still have to study. Oh, and I'm going back to Jesus. Jesus, please help me. I'm already the biggest kid in sixth grade. Amen. Amen. <laughs>